an Illinois accountant and professor weighing in on the decision to let the former Dixon comptroller out of prison. She's followed Rita Crunwell and her conviction on stealing millions of dollars from the city, and it's our top story tonight at 10. Cronwell got out of a federal prison in Pekin on Wednesday. She was sentenced to in 2013 for embezzling about $54 million in taxpayer money. That's over 20 years. Now it's believed to be the largest municipal fraud in U.S. history. Cronwell was supposed to serve more than 19 and a half years. And she was expected to be released in 2029. City leaders don't know why she got out early. And Local 4's Linda Cook shows us what one expert thinks about the latest development. Kelly Richmond Pope is a professor at DePaul University, Chicago, and she understands how numbers can be manipulated. She also understands full well what happened in Dixon, Illinois, where Rita Crundwell, the former Dixon comptroller, was convicted of stealing nearly $54 million from the city. Kelly Richmond Pope made a documentary called All the Queen's Horses about the case of Rita Cronwell, who was sentenced in 2013 to nearly 20 years in prison. Pope, who teaches a graduate course in forensic accounting, continues to follow the case and shares the case, along with the film, with her students. I always talk about All the Queen's Horses with my students, always. It's going to be, when I die, it's going to be on my tombstone. Kelly Richmond Pope and All the Queen's Horses. The students ask the but same I questions no every time. How does one person steal $53 million and no one know it? She that was the log line then. If I were to make a movie today, it would be, how does a person steal $53 million and only serve half, less than half of their prison sentence? Pope heard rumors about a possible early release for Cronwell. I was like, of course that's not going to happen. But things have been brewing um, because of COVID. And because of um, the Bureau of Prisons trying to contain or keep inmates safe. She was shocked when she learned Cronwell had been released to a halfway house. But there this are is really unheard of. I mean, is, if you, you know, think about Dixon, it's is this something we're going to have to see her? And that someone who's known as the largest municipal fraud perpetrator in U.S. history was released into a more comfortable form situation. Government. Now that there's a new twist to the story, might another documentary no, be a consideration? The question really is why, and it's no longer why did Rita steal? The question now is why was she released? So the follow-up documentary really has little to do with her and more around the rules us as to what allowed this to happen. It's impossible to say what will happen to Cronwell. Pope's advice? Get your popcorn and sit down and watch. The Bureau of Prisons says she was released to a residential halfway house in the Chicago suburbs. Dixon city leaders say they recovered 40 million of the 53 million dollars she embezzled. In the newsroom, Linda Cook, Local 4 News. Thank you, Linda, and you can watch her documentary, All the Queen's Horses, for free. We'll show you how on ourquadcities.com.